Lesson Overview for Chemical Reactions Unit, Lesson 1.4, Atomic Zoom-In. In this lesson, we ask questions and obtain information about atoms as we actively read Atomic Zoom-In, an article about how substances are made of different types of atoms combined in different ways, which shows patterns, and observable differences between substances at the macro scale are a product of these atomic differences, which demonstrates scale, proportion, and quantity. So as a scientist, we're going to be asking questions and obtaining or getting information uh, mostly in this case by actively reading an article and watching a video. And then we want to come away with the idea that uh, not all substances are made of the same stuff. We have atoms. If you've ever seen a periodic table, uh, you have seen different types of atoms in terms of different names and different makeups. Uh, and that uh, the macro scale differences uh, are reflected by the microscopic differences, or what we call the atomic scale, zooming way in on something like this. Not something we can necessarily see uh, with our eye or under a microscope even. Step-by-step -step plan. Step one, complete the warm-up. Hand that in. Uh, before you go on to step two, you need to hop back to the lesson brief. You're going to be watching the video, Everything is Made of Atoms. If you were in the classroom with the teacher, we'd be watching it as a class. When you get to step two, they'll assume you've watched that video. Uh, revisit the term scale. So they define scale. Uh, it's been present in other units before, but if it's your first unit at Amplify, it's the first time you've seen it. And then actively read the article Atomic Zoom In. Uh, they do give you the active reading guidelines about reflecting and asking yourself questions. You've probably done it numerous times at this point, but we want to annotate, take notes in the article so we can refer back to them later. Uh, step three, if possible, discuss your annotations with others. I don't know if that's somebody else in your family, through email, through social media. If not, sit and ponder it for a while, uh, and then def they define the word atoms and substance, two terms, two more terms you need to be comfortable with using throughout the unit, and then just complete the reflection question at the bottom and hand in. In step four, you're re-watching the video, everything is made of atoms, and then using the scale tool to find an atom, and then responding to the question below that and handing that in. Uh, so most of the lesson is watching a video and reading an article, and uh, away we go. Unit question. How do new substances form? Chapter question. What is the reddish-brown substance in the water? But the investigation question for this specific lesson is why do substances have different properties? Now we're going to head over to Amplify to find out. Amplify Science Chemical Reactions Unit Chapter 1, Lesson 1 1.4, Atomic Zoom In. So once again, in the lesson brief, you have the resources necessary, the projections, and the video when you're working at home are the most useful. In the warm-up, you are presented with an image uh, to think more deeply about different substances, and then answer two questions below the diagram or the, the, the image. Then be sure to hand that in. Uh, the teacher step is where you'd be watching the video. Uh, and again, you need to go back to the lesson brief to do that. But in our last investigation, we learned that different substances have different properties. We also learned that comparing properties is one way scientists can tell different substances apart. So we can observe that water and oil have different properties, but what is it about water and oil that gives them their different properties? In this lesson, we will investigate why different substances have different properties, which is our investigation question. So then go ahead and watch that video before moving on to step two. Uh, in step two, you're reminded of the term scale, or the relative size of things, before you dive into an article called Atomic Zoom In. The link is there, and you're going to open the article. Uh, they give you active reading guidelines. Uh, I'm sure you've practiced it in your language arts classes and your other classes about, uh, it's just metacognitive reading, being aware of what you're thinking while you're reading, uh, making notes and highlights in the text as you go. And then that's going to move you on to step three. In step three, you're reviewing your annotations. If you were in class, you'd have an opportunity to discuss with somebody else. But in this case, if you can find somebody to talk to at home or through social media, go ahead. Otherwise, you just got to ponder it on your own. You're introduced to the terms atoms and substance and their definitions. These are words we want to start using throughout the unit. In step three, they give you a chance to reflect on your annotations and respond back to your confidence and your ability to actively read. In step four, uh, they have you rewatch the video uh, and then click on the scale tool link and in a new tab opens the scale tool. And the scale tool, uh, now if you have trouble on your Chromebook with a smaller screen, if you hit control minus, 
a couple times, it sometimes shrink this down. Sometimes this doesn't show up well on a small screen and you can't get to the controls at the bottom. But down here you've got the slider and either using your arrows or grabbing it with your mouse, you can slide it back and forth. And what you need to do is find an atom. And again, there's some indications here on the bar as to where you'd find those. And then you're, so there you're going to examine the scale of things with that scale and then respond in the question below. And then you'll hand that in.